Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <clears throat> Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all audience and viewers from Masa University Facebook page and also YouTube channel. Together with me today in this morning, we have a great speaker with a great experience in engineering. First of all, I would like to welcome all of you audience and thank you for joining this webinar. Before this webinar begins, allow me to introduce you to the speaker. Okay, the speaker today that we're going to have with, you, uh, with us uh, today is T.S. Nurul Huda Abdullah, a lecturer from Manipal University. I would like to welcome uh, this. Uh, thank you, T.S. Nurul Huda, for being joined uh, with, her, with he, us uh, today. Okay. And uh, T.S. Nurul Huda is a lecturer in Manipal University and currently undergo her PhD in geophysics. Uh, she already involved in geophysics since 2015 and she has a lot of knowledge in this area. Okay, without further ado, I would like to invite uh, T.S. Nurul Huda to uh, the floor is yours for your speech, uh, the presentation on geophysics and alternative method for site investigation. Please welcome. Okay, thank you for our moderators today. Okay, so Assalamualaikum and good morning. Actually, for today's session, I will talk about the geophysics and more focus on an alternative method for site investigation. Okay, let's start with the definition of the geophysics. Generally, geophysics is an earth study using the physics concept. So this is the, just the general definition. What is the geophysics? But it is particularly used in the foundation investigation in determining the physical properties of testing geomaterial to see what the material under the subsurface. This is the uses of the geophysics. And actually, they have a lot of the type of geophysics. Generally, it has the first one is seismic method. The second one is resistivity method. And the third is ground penetration radar. And the last one, electromagnetic method. So this is just the overall types of the geophysics. But for today, we go only to the seismic method. We focus on seismic met wave method. Uh, sorry, Dr. Neru, uh, T.S. Neruda, but your screen is not moving. Uh, I think you need to uh, make open full screen. Oh, I already opened the slideshow, actually. Uh, uh, no. Because the screen is not moving. Uh, now, uh, what you see in my slide? The cover. Why? Mm. Is it okay? I still know, Dr. Huda. Uh, wait a minute. It's okay. Or maybe I will share it again. I will end show it first and then share it again. Okay. Okay, now you can see my slide in the PowerPoint before I press the slideshow. Yes. Okay, uh, if I press the slideshow, is it you can see the types of the geophysics? Yes, but uh, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Okay, I'm sorry because uh, some mistakes, some problems here. Okay, we will continue for the seismic method. What I say, we focus only to the seismic method. Actually, seismic method is the 
or seismic waves are waves of energy that travel through Earth's layer and the result of the earthquakes, volcanic eruption, magma movement, large landslide and large man-made explosion that give out low frequency acoustic energy. So this is just the general definition of the seismic wave. And they have two types of the seismic wave. Here, I highlight the first one is the body wave and surface wave. But from the body wave, we split into P wave and S wave. And I will explain later what is the both of the P wave and S wave. And the second broad group is surface wave. Surface wave will be divided into relic wave and love wave. So this is just the broad groups under the types of seismic wave. Okay, this one is the P wave. The first uh, sorry, under the... The um, Asuda still, the screen is not moved. So I think you need to reach out again uh, manually one by one. Still in type of geophysics. Oh, what's your problem? Or maybe I just uh, open uh, through the, uh, not the slideshow. Uh, now the type of seismic wave, but I think you need to like one by one by one. Can uh, so I cannot uh, press the slideshow lah. Ah, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I think uh, some problem if I press the slideshow, it will be not move. <laughs> mm, oh, it's okay, it's okay. We can move uh, with whatever we have. Uh, I think uh, I think is uh, I need to manually from the PowerPoint. Just press one by one. Okay. Okay. So we will continue now. P wave. P wave actually has a longitudinal partial motion that link with the propagation direction, as you can see in this figure. This is the partial motion. And it consists of the alternating compression and dilation of the propagation. And then it also known as compressional wave and can detect and pass through the solid, liquid and gases. Solid, liquid and gases is the soil from the three-phase diagram. So, it consists of solid, liquid and gaseous material. So, the P wave can go through to all this material under the subsurface. Okay, now we go to the second types of the or under the body wave is S wave. S wave is propagated by a pure shear strain perpendicular to the wave propagation. If you can see here in this figure, this is the direction of propagation from the S wave. And the remaining of the type of Seismic wave is love wave and relic wave. So they have the different particle motion movement or direction here. If you can see from the love wave and relic wave, it will be circular and it will be uh, the straight line from the love wave. Okay, after we know the just the definition or uh, general information about the geophysics, we need to understand why we use or we need to use the method, geophysics method in the site investigation. Uh, this is the important thing actually, why we need to use the geophysics. And it can be the alternative method 
to check the material under the subsurface. Of course, the most important thing is because of the cost, time and performance measurement. Because if you use the borehole, it will be high costly. If we use the geophysic method, it will be minimized number of borehole. We no need to have more or many borehole in the site investigation. And then it will be provide information in discrete point also. And if you can see here, the, the first one is related to the money, time and performance measurement. And then exclusive method inside investigation technique uh, that required the drilling of the borehole also costly and it need more or additional time for the test preparation of course because the when we start to do the borehole we need more workers more equipment more uh, apparatus to complete the drilling the borehole. Uh, that's why we can change to the geophysic method. And then we go to the seismic method. Now we go to the seismic refraction method. Here is the seismic refraction method. And from this figure, the top figure, if you can see here, this is the, the principle or the schematic diagram that using the geophysic method to characterize the subsurface. For example, you do the seismic refraction method here and you can see and you, or you can classify or identify what the material under the subsurface. Also, the same figure at the top, at the bottom one. So, this is the schematic diagram from the seismic refraction method. You can see layer by layer. Which one is the uh, unsaturated of soil? Which one is the saturated of soil and we use the seismic refraction method that using the wave propagational and actually the seismic refraction method if you can see here it based on the measurement of the travel time Travel time of the seismic wave that refracted at the, the interface between the subsurface layer of the different velocity. So it will be detected based on the velocity from the distance and measure the time, travel time. So this is the principle or concept of the seismic refraction method. If you can see here, for example, it will be classified the soil of the sand, silt, clay, and the last one, you can see the bedrock. Where is the bedrock located from the subsurface? We only do the seismic refraction method at the surface. So, no need to disturb under the subsurface area. Otherwise, if you use the conventional method, you need to drill. If you use the conventional method or traditional method, you need to drill the borehole here. And after that, you can see what types of the material through the standard penetration test. So, this is the comparison in between the conventional method and seismic method. Okay. 
So we understand what the concept, what the principle of the seismic reflection method. And next, moving right to advantage of the geophysical method for the site investigation. As you know, site investigation is the important thing before we start to construct the any project. Okay, the first one is inclusive and more clean. The second one is, of course, is safe, time, money and manpower. And also it will provide the overall data and larger area, uh, which means it widely space interval if we use the traditional or conventional method. And if you can see here, also the advantages of geophysical method for the site investigation. Uh, that's why we should be compare which one have the advantage either from the conventional method or geophysic method. And also we should compare how to achieve the data for the subsurface profiling due to the many research, previously research or current research. Actually, the geophysics method is uh, normally used in nowadays. Okay, next, we go to the data analysis and result. This is the example to the, uh, from the seismic reflection method. If you can see here, it will be different into the color. And from the color, different color, we will classify either what is the velocity value. And from the velocity value, we can identify what types of the soil. So maybe you have, uh, you can see here, this is the blue color. So what the value for the value blue color? And what is the material of this layer? Layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, layer 5, and layer 6. And of course, at the bottom, it should be bedrock. So this is uh, the subsurface layers. Okay. Next. We go to the sustainability factor. From the sustainability factor, we can identify it very saving energy and saving in terms of manpower. And it is the inclusive method because it do not disturb the subsurface area. And it easy to do this field testing actually. And the last one, we go to the conclusion for our webinar today. Geophysics is the change method and it is the new method to creating innovation using an advanced technology instead of manual look. Manual work, sorry. Manual work which means we drill the borehole. So this is just the new method, a new technology actually. And of course, I repeat it again, the geophysics is safe in terms of cost and time. And with the good quality work performance for whole foundation construction industry. And therefore, it will be developed our country to a modern technology country. And this is the research to find out the better method replacement for
for site investigation in order to conduct the subsurface profiling. Through the geophysics also, we can have the relationship or correlation with the other parameters under the geotechnic. For example, we can correlate to the bearing capacity, the UCS and unisial compression test, we can get the strength. So it will be correlate. And also the elastic modulus maybe because they are the parameters, the basic parameters before we go to the design of the foundation. So this is the important of the geophysics and it will be the alternative method for the site investigation. We apply for the site investigation. Okay, so this is the generally the maybe the general info from the geophysics that I can say here and once again uh, I think thank you to for your attention and interest and also thank you from our moderator and from Masa to invite me to give the talk today and hopefully you are interested to know detail what is the geophysics. Okay, uh, Miss Rashida. Mm. <clears throat> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, T. S. Nuruhuda. Uh, thank you for the information that's so informative and a very interesting talk. Uh, hopefully, the, hopefully, the presentation will be beneficial to all the audience today. Okay, thank you again for your attention. Um, we'll see you in the next webinar series. Assalamualaikum and good day. Thank you.